All right, guys, let's quickly take a look at brushes in Instamat. So in this tutorial, I will show you how you can leverage the built-in brushes and also how to make your custom ones. So I prepared this rock and textured it quickly. So if you would like to paint your asset now by hand, you would obviously use a multi-channel brush here. And when you click on this, you will get the default brush with an alpha that is just a round circle. And we could adjust the softness, for example, the softness curve, the stroke width, and also define our channels like the color, for example. We could also use height or roughness. So let's quickly make it shiny, uh, shiny and metallic. And now we just can start to paint our mesh. We also have different properties for the contrast of the brush or the brightness and also a vignette. The vignette is nice for alphas which are square so for example we could click on the arrow here which will open our library. So this is um, the, li the built-in library and here's your current package. As we don't have anything in our current package let's take a look at the library which is built in and just use the crunch. So let's just use this cracked, one, cracked branch here. So now we have a square brush, which is not, not what we want in many cases. We could just adjust the brush vignette here and it gets round. We can also go to the brush properties here and adjust the radius here, for example, the spacing, the flow, rotation, and also to the dynamics, like where we have the size, so it will be dynamic, the flow, the rotation as well. Um, this menus here are for your tablet, for example, when you want to be to have the size, for example, based on pressure or tilt, we could use that. Let's quickly delete this and let's see what's in our library here. We have different templates. We have one mask which is the default brush, the circle, but we have also some templates with the brush that is already set up. So we would create a new multi-channel brush and then just double click on this airbrush soft here and as you can see the settings are changing and we can just use those brushes. So great, but now let's assume you need a brush that is not in the library and you would like to make your own. This is quite easy to do, you can make this on the fly. So we would start a new project and use our element graph here and create a project without a template. Let's quickly create something. Let's use the shape generator here. Set it to grayscale. Let's adjust the color to a gray maybe. Let's use a circle and increase the size. Let's duplicate it with Alt and just dragging it. Then let's go to rings and make one ring. Let's make it a bit brighter Then we can blend this with our initial shape and use a maximum blend. Let's now use a guided scatter mode, which is here. Let's input this into the input and we'll need a mask input and a scale input. So let's duplicate this shape generator here. Let's set the foreground color to default and apply a bit of softness to our shape. Let's use this as scale input. Let's use a grayscale mask node and use this as our mask input. Let's preview what we are doing here. Let's increase the count to maybe something like 12. 
let's go to color and choose the blend mode maximum and decrease the luminance variance let's go to size and introduce some size variance let's go to position adjust the offset variance let's use an offset here and also a bit of disorder variance so this looks quite nice but let's duplicate this and use a higher count maybe in a lower scale let's use the levels here to make it a bit darker and then blend it with the initial guided scatter output with a maximum blend again let's use an eroded monster grunge let's keep it as is and just multiply those Let's decrease the opacity a bit. So let's assume this is the brush we want. Let's define this as, as our output. Let's give it a name like tutorial brush. And the category, let's just use the paintbrush mask category. Then we can just save it, return to our layering project. Then we could create a new multi-channel brush and then choose this icon here, show object from current package. Just double click on our tutorial brush. Let's also make it shiny and metallic maybe. Or actually, let's leave it as is. Let's go back to our properties the size, the rotation, yeah, and we just created our custom brush. And now if we want to make some changes to our brush or to our alpha, we can just go back to our element graph and for example adjust the shape here to a star, this one as well, save it and just go back to our layering project and our shape changed, let's make it a bit more visible by going here and changing the brightness, as you can see it's now star shaped. Great, and now if you want to make this a template brush like those pre-made ones, we just need to go to our multi-channel brush here, right click on it and add to library as brush template. And let's call it tutorial brush template. Give it a nice description. This is my tutorial brush template. Click on OK will be here. This was a test, we can just go in and delete those as well. Now when we add a new multi-channel brush and double click this one, we will have our pre-made brush. If you want to use a custom alpha on your brushes you need to make a separate project or package with the element with an element graph and create your alpha save it to your instamat library and then you could just go in here and choose it from the built-in library otherwise this brush or this alpha will be only available in your current project and to save it in the library you would go to on Windows, you'd go to um, Users, Documents, Instamat Studio and Library and just save it there. And now let's look on a different example where we could use whole PBR materials as a brush. Let's quickly delete those. 
let's go and use an element brush and for this we could choose everything that's built in in the library also your own materials for example let's use Now maybe all oh, the crystals looked nice. So we just double click on those. We could also change our alpha here for the tutorial brush, but but let's keep the default brush or default alpha. And then we can just paint with a full PBR material. And we also have all the parameters that are built into the material, like for example the color of the crystals. And for this you could also use your own materials, etc. So yeah, I think that's it for this tutorial. I hope it was helpful and if you have any questions just let me know and I try to answer everything. So bye bye and see you next time.